look at question number eight from the um, 2014 revised tire physics paper. And it shows a um, couple of charges. It says the electric field patterns around charges Q, R, and S are shown. So this is charge Q, and then R and S is down here. Um, which row in the table shows the charges uh, on particles Q, R, and S? And so we have a, uh, an array of possibilities. So I'm not going to really look at the table just at the moment. I'm going to look at the two graphs, or the two charts, uh, and try and determine what's going on. So the key thing, first of all, is that in any um, diagram like this where you have um, electric field lines pointing away from a charge, they show the direction that a positive charge would experience a force. So the field line like that shows the direction a positive charge placed in it would experience a force upwards. So it's all about... Oops. Um, positive charges. And so a charge here would experience a force downward this way. If it's a positive charge, that means this is a positive charge. Um, these lines are traveling away from R, which means that this is a positive charge because any charges here would be repelled from it. And this must be negative um, because any positive charge would be attracted toward it as the field lines are showing. So that's really um, what we've got. Q is positive, R is positive, and S is negative. So let's uh, have a look down the page and see what our answers are. Um, Q positive, R positive, S negative. Therefore, our answer is A.